Cool, so this looks pretty good. We can hit three just to see what our PC would look like. You can see that the, the planes kind of look a little different in color than the rest. We can add some silk screen. So let's say in the top overlay, place, string, something like this, tab, phantom, 555, maybe somewhere here, a little smaller. Cool, not bad. And then we want to label our pads as well, or our, our holes, I guess. So tab plus five volts here. And this could be ground. Uh, can't believe ground. All right, that looks good. Um, so if we were to print this and run it, we'd see that um, this LED would flash as soon as we put five volts across here. That's not bad. Let's just decrease the board size. Notice we only use this tiny little bit of a whole board. So you can go back to board planning mode. Cool, looks good to me. Pretty nice board. Looks good. Sometimes you want to add mounting holes in the corners. Usually a good practice. So you can add some of those. Basically what I do is um, just move the silk screen over a little bit to the space. What I like to do is just place a pad and make sure that that pad has no uh, like electrical connectivity. So it's going to be multi-layer, but um, full size 2mm, paste size 0, 0. And we're going to want to make sure it's not plated either, so uncheck this. So. We can place our hole now. Just another one. Another one. Another one. Sometimes you like to have it connected to ground just so that your um, your uh, mounting hardware is also grounded. Sometimes you don't like that for certain application. It's up to you. In this case, we'll keep it grounded, and we're going to use our align. Horizontal centers, this one. This one will align the vertical centers. This one. Do the same thing here. Align. Cool. Actually, I probably want to. Increase this a little bit. And then realign these. Cool. So we have nice mounting holes as well. Make it easy for our mechanical team to mount this guy and make an enclosure. It's not bad. Um, one thing you need to make sure that you have you can see all these mechanical layers. We need to make sure that um, you have a board outline somewhere in one of your mechanical layers. Um, I like to pick usually the one that has all of these uh, mechanical pink kind of hatched lines 
or the screen one that shows outline. So you do is inside that layer, you're going to place line and then go right on the outside of the board, creating a board outline. And the Fab House will need this to create your board. And if you try and submit it without it, they'll complain and send it back. too early. Place line. So it's usually great to double click when you hit your very end and then you can hit left. That's better. Okay it's looking good. If you want you can put your name on it. Maybe in the back, maybe in the front. Don't have a lot of space in the front. Uh, I'm just gonna move some of this silk a little bit. Drop it here. Switch to the bottom, and I'm going to flip V, B, and now I'm going to place some silk screen on the bottom over there. Place string, and I'm just going to put uh, Gabe. There it is. Put your name if you want, you don't have to. Some people like to, as like a signature kind of thing. So VB back again. And if I go to 3D, I VB. I'll see my name is backwards, my bad. Uh, <laughs> so let me just flip this mirror. Cool, now for a 3D VB. There you go, normal. A little fat. I want it to be a little thinner, I can decrease the width. See how that looks. Yeah, that's better. Let's decrease the width for these as well. Cool. 